<sighs> oh, wow. Quantum Moon's paid me an even closer visit today. <sighs> well, last cycle was uneventful. Kind of was wishing I could get inside that comet, but... Yeah. You can't do what you can't do. Surprised that I could survive for that long, being lost in space like that. But, I guess it's not all too bad. I did learn a few new things. We learned about the... Uh, the expedition onto the comet, and apparently there's a way inside it. And also, I got a little bit of training in for the Nomai ship, so I'm happy about it. Either way, I should probably see if I can get inside that comet to begin with. My curiosity has been piqued, and I want to see what was the cause of the Nomai destruction. There's also some stuff we still need to look at on the twins, but... I think for now, I should probably focus on the comment, if I can find it. Wait, is that it? Yep, there it is. Nope, oh, computer. There we go. Alright, well, now I just need to figure out a safe place to put this ship. I don't want to get flown off into space again like last time. But putting it on the comet's tail doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. Putting it on the, t the head of the comet probably wouldn't be smart either, given the fact that if it goes flying right too close to the sun, the ship could get pulled in by the gravitational pull and be burned up alive. Hmm. Whoa! Eh, yeah, sad this thing doesn't have a gravitational pull of itself. It's almost as big as the celestial bodies out here. And you wouldn't think that, even though even the uh, Hollow's Lantern has a gravitational pull. Not a strong one, but it's still a pull to it. before I can do anything about it, and at this point, it looks like I've got a ways to go. Probably should just stay in the ship for now, save up on the oxygen, and also make sure the ship doesn't drift away. Take a look at the star map to see how close we are. Alright, so it looks like we're making some pretty decent progress. Although, I feel like I am going to lose the ship if I even try to go uh, inside this comet. But, maybe I can be lucky enough, I might be able to slingshot myself to the twins. I'll be trapped through this cycle, but it's better than nothing. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Is open. Whoa. 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 Ghost matter, not fine. The entire tunnel is just filled to the brim with it. Yeah, that was a, what I was afraid of. Maybe is my ship gonna no? Not by much, but it would have been funny to see my ship go flying right into one of the twins. <sighs> Looks like the Nomai made a small camp in here. That's good. Have a nice little oxygen supply. So at least I'm not gonna suffocate to death on this comet. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we are beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. 
We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Yeah, there's ghost matter down there. I think that might be the tunnel that I uh, saw back down that way, so probably should not go down there. Well, if I want to go inside, I might as well use the probe to make sure everything is safe. Especially seeing how right there there's ghost matter, and it looks like that's just another way out back to where I first came out. So from the looks of things, this seems to be the safest tunnel to go in. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Alright, let's go! from what's inside, 
Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Hi, whatever the, ma the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profusely unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've seen, and I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter inside would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system and almost instantaneously, and pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke! So, this one was Pi, and I'm guessing the one up there was Poke. And from the looks of things, they ran out of time. The thing ruptured. And this is the source of the ghost matter. It explains all the small crystalline structures that look inside here, and also the fact that this place is completely blanketed in it. This... This is what killed the Nomai in our star system. It wasn't like the death of the universe or anything like that. It wasn't uh, the rupturing of the sun or anything. It was literally just this entire comet full of ghost matter that just completely blanketed all their settlements. my ship again, unfortunately. Thankfully, I'm close enough to the stun that the Ember Twin should be around here somewhere. Alright, there they are. Oh, wait, why is it getting so hot? Oh, no! Don't go flying into the sun, you fool! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. Maybe. Possibly. Eh, in this case, most likely. Alright, I'm outside the rotation. If I can get within the rotational uh, field of the twins, I should be able to just meet up with them when they round the sun. Just need to be super careful. Don't get too close to the sun and completely burn up or make this journey less effective. There they are. Come on. I'm almost there. Uh, I overshot it. I guess in this case, undershot it. Ooh, it's hot. Maybe a little too hot.
I can use the sun's gravitational pull to slingshot myself into the twins. It's a really risky maneuver, but maybe it'll work out for me. Shot myself too far out. Oh no, I'm out of fuel. Is there another celestial body I can land on? I'm almost at Timber Hearth's rotational pattern. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to land home safely. I'll even have. Oh. That's not good. Uh. Air! Hot! So hot! Too hot! 